these flags can only mean one thing, and that is we're at the Euros. We have come all the way to the Netherlands. Crowds are gathering. And I'm here to do the, the two-wheel drive track walk. The four-wheel track, the four-wheel drive track is a bit of an unknown at the moment because some of the rumours that I heard about the track having to be 30% different are just not true. And then I heard that the track might be run backwards four-wheel drive and that is also not true. But I can tell you the powers that be who I get my information from also don't know what is happening. There could be an inclusion of that wall of mild discomfort or it could be including this bit of paving, I'm not sure. But we're going to have a look at the two-wheel drive track for now and I'm going to start right here on the straight. Now, just before I start, the surface is weird. It is the normal astro that we see with sand in it, but with no sand in it. So it's been very sort of worn at the top and very smooth and slippery, which is a bit odd, to be honest. But it will slow up the racing, so we'll go for that. So we're going to go into turn one. It's essentially a, a, an open hairpin. There's not a lot of sign, a lot, not a lot of damage or signs of wear here. I seem to have lost my ability to speak on the plane some, for some reason. That tells me it's it's slick. That tells me it's slippery. So we get in there and we will fire out. Another open hairpin. Again, no sign of wear and tear. The passage is a bit ruffled. I think that's slick as well. So we're going to roll the first jump if uh, what we've seen in the warm up and then to go by. We're going to hit the dam and hit the gas. If it's as windy tomorrow as it is today, it's going to be a bit of sorting around in the air required. Lots of people landing on their front quarters, I would say, and rolling over. But the A scale guy shouldn't find that too hard. So we're going to land on the down ramp. No need for any major whips or heroics, just get into this. Now, if you look at the up ramp of this jump, you will see down here, there's a dip. And that dip corresponds to a mark higher up the jump face on this side. So that tells me that the cars are getting a little bump there, upset them before they hit the jump. So it's gonna be stay right, stay middle, stay middle. Because if we stay right, we may not get right up onto the landing just right. So it's stay middle for sure. Don't be too tight on that. And get your landing nice and fast so you can get a little bit of speed scrubbed up as you come up onto this second portion and then get into this hairpin with the pole. So you can see that you take off, you land on a bit of a lower level and then roll up onto this high level, trying not to carry too much weight where the pole is. Now look how far we are from the rostrum. Almost the furthest point on this track away. There's going to be people getting hooked up on that pole. Just get around. Just leave six or nine inches or a foot and just get around it every time and don't be trying to make up time here. This is where you'll lose time, not where you'll gain it. So we're in the down ramp. There are lumps and bumps on that down ramp. I don't think we can do about it. Maybe we can just hop off a little bit if we can get enough speed up out of the corner. Get down here. Then you have hairpin on a step up, step down. Little undulation there on at the apex. That'll be okay. So stepped up and step down. More power required, more forward drive required. So how many forward drive car corners have you had so far? You've got the hill coming down off there, so you'll be okay. That's a forward drive, and certainly forward drive out of the two hairpins. So is but just 
little bit of focus on that required. So we've come up into an open hairpin. Now, this is essentially a weird double apex because that apex down there is part of this corner. So coming in here and allowing a push wide under power so you can just hit the jump about there. That'll jump you straight over and into the next corner. So a bit of care needed there. This is a triple single by the looks of it. Don't think it's going to present any issues. Just get it down in this landing zone. A little pop over here. Now there's black matting. This is a sort of like a, a bitumen sort of matting. There seems to be a ton of grip on it when it's dry. I don't know what it's going to be like when it's wet. What that surface, but it's sort of got um, sort of got gravel sprinkled over the surface. So I think that's going to be okay. Straightforward enough. The track is very thin here. It's a chicane hairpin, and then we have what's like a, a mini straight here. High speed, you know, absolutely flat. They have the apex marked here, so you'll be able to just come across and just get your line nice. Now, what are we going to do here? I don't like jumps or flat landings. Sorry now, if the wind is all over the audio. It's uh, quite a windy day, as you can see with the flags down there at the end. So I think that's just power it up and just try and just have a nice smooth landing here as much as you can. Just get the car landing, a little bit of power just to make sure you don't get too much of a double bounce. And then we're into sort of a square single, or it's not actually, it's just a drop off. So, so I don't think it's going to present any issue. And then we have a double. Again, no problems. And a faster double. Uh, this double's a little bit more spread out, so we're going to have to be careful on the down ramp. Just maybe just getting the bottom of the down ramp of the second jump on the first double just to carry through and then you can see this by the damage on the ground here there's varying landing spots there's a lot of landings going on just at the bottom of the, of the second double and then there's people all the way out here so we'll just see how that goes it's obviously not as bad as I think if people are landing that far now tight hairpin nip through, don't catch the hose on the apex. That is a bit mental where that is. There's going to be lots of cars hitting that. I'll just get the hose off the way down the other side. And then, it's damage on the apex of that corner, on the tape if you can see it. I don't know what that's really telling me. You just driver errors, or maybe it's hard to see. But there we are, back round onto the straight. So, take you up onto the rostrum now and we'll get a bit of an overview. Okay, we're up on the rostrum. So let's just go this, through this one more time. It's down in front of the rostrum, double back. Probably gonna roll the first, double the second. Right up to the back, hitting the first jump in the middle where the lower wear patch is. We can get a reasonable landing on the second, on, sorry, on the first level, and then rolling up onto the second to get around that pole. Not going too tight. It is so blind, I cannot tell you. It's just like looking at a lighthouse across the bay. It's, where is that? Just have to be careful. Make sure we don't put a front wheel anywhere near the level, the, the base of that, if that makes any sense. And lumpy down ramp and up into the step up, step off around the hairpin. Fire back out. Another hairpin, double apex, stay wide middle of the corner to, to draw back in to get triple, single. And then through the high grip of the bitch tiles, fire it across into jump to hit the flat landing. 
not looking forward to that. I can see myself over over jumping it and landing with steering on and getting a bounce and rolling up and into race control. So just careful, careful, careful. Then around, step off, double, longer double, no problem, down into the hairpin. Don't clip the hose at the apex, it's hidden by that concrete bollard. Come around, over the, up onto the top and down, and around. So, that's it. The wall of major injury might be used for four wheel drive. The concrete might be used for the four wheel drive. The doubles of the back might be used for the four wheel drive. It could be a completely different track, we don't know. But as a car goes round now, Take a look at a little look. We'll be doing our best not to do that. There's the track walk. So, big, big, big thanks to Schumacher for helping me get here. We don't have our normal set of sponsors for this event. They're our BRCA sponsors, they're the, the local guys, they don't need to really to be marketed at the murals. So this is all about Schumacher. And you know I always say support the, the team to fold their money back into the sport. Well I've gone and bought myself some Schumacher cars for this and I can tell you I've done one five minute pack with the two wheel drive. It felt good. The four wheel drive has not turned the wheel in anger yet. So let's see how it goes. Right, well look, thanks for watching. It's, if you're catching up, this is Sunday afternoon. There's a, a non-racer just doing a couple of laps to make sure the track's all all right. And uh, we'll pick it up in the morning with photographs. And then uh, we'll try and get a couple of heats if we can, some of the top heats. I know everybody wants to see the Hall Brothers and the Holdsworths. And of course, Mike Larlowski. See how it goes for them. And of course, Marcus Kurup will be here. Going well as well. So there you have it. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.